Hello dear students, welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gizla. In this video we shall take up a question where interest is compounded quarterly and we shall solve it by unitary method. Unitary method is explained in the conceptual video. I have provided the link of the same in the description box. You can check out from there. Now let's start with the question. Rohit deposited rupees 10,000 in a bank for 6 months. If the bank pays compound interest at 12% per annum reckoned quarterly, find the amount to be received by him on maturity. Now this is the question. Over here the principal is rupees 10,000. That is the amount which Rohit has deposited in the bank is our principal. Time period is 6 months and rate of interest is 12% per annum which is reckoned quarterly. That means it is compounded quarterly. Quarterly means every 3 months. So in 6 months you can say we will have 2 quarters. That is we can say Jan to March is 1 quarter and April to June is another quarter. So if the time period is 6 months we can say we will have 2 quarters. Now let's start with the solution. Rate of interest is given 12% per annum and the interest is compounded quarterly. In a year there are 4 quarters of 3 months each. So we can divide 12 by 4 and we shall get 3% for each quarter. Time period is given 6 months that means 3 plus 3 that is 2 quarters we will have in 6 months. So let us start with the first quarter. Principal for the first quarter is rupees 10,000 that is the amount which Rohit had deposited in the bank is the principal for the first quarter. Now interest for the first quarter will be calculated at the rate of 3% on this principal that is rupees 10,000 and we shall apply simple interest for the one quarter that is PRT upon 100 is equal to 10,000 that is the principal into 3 that is the rate of interest per quarter into 1 because we are calculating for one quarter upon 100 which is equal to rupees 300. Now the amount at the end of first quarter is the sum of the principal of the first quarter and the interest of the first quarter. That means we have to add the interest to the principal to get the amount. So we shall add 10,000 plus 300 and we shall get rupees 10,300 as the amount at the end of first quarter. Now this amount will become the principal of the second quarter. So we can say principal for the second quarter is rupees 10,300. Interest for the second quarter will be calculated at the rate of 3% of this new principal that is 10,300. We shall apply the formula of simple interest for one quarter that is PRT upon 100 is equal to 10,300 that is our principal into 3 that is our rate of interest and time period is one quarter upon 100 which is equal to rupees 309. So rupees 309 is the interest for the second quarter. Now to find the amount at the end of second quarter we shall add the interest and the principal that is 10,300 plus 309 and we shall get rupees 10,609 as the amount which Rohit will receive from bank on maturity after 6 months. Now I will be putting up a question for you all, all of you to solve. Please give your answer in comment section. You can pause the video for a moment to answer the question. The question is what is the compound interest which Rohit will receive after 6 months? So that means you have to find the interest which Rohit will receive from bank after 6 months. So I want everyone to solve it and give your answer in the comment section. Now let me share the answer with you all. The amount of money which Rohit has received on maturity from bank is rupees 10,609. And I had asked you what is the interest which he has got. So basically we had to find the compound interest which is the difference between the final amount and the initial principal which he had deposited. That means we will subtract 10,000 from 10,609 and we shall get rupees 609 as the compound interest. So compound interest received by Rohit we can say is rupees 609. So I hope everyone got the right answer. Hope you have understood this question and the method to find the amount and the co compound interest is clear by unitary method. Please do like and subscribe my channel. Thank you everyone. Have a good day.